So someone underestimated someone's ability to be resourceful. Um, someone thought they could take advantage of somebody in a situation. Um, so someone could be in like survival mode or they grew up in a type of situation that forced them to have some sort of survival skills and somebody underestimated that. It's like you were raised or it's like you were raised to be who you are. Um, and this, this was this is hard to explain. It's almost like you were purposefully shaped or molded into being who the person you were supposed to be today. Your life was not easy on purpose. Um, so if you had a hard life growing up, there's a reason for that. Back our girls over there. So there could be some communication going on. Um, someone could be surprised at how resourceful you are. It's almost like it, it's unexpected. Someone underestimated somebody in this situation. Um, I'm not going to lie. There's some talk going on. Um, if anyone tried to take advantage of you or um, they underestimated you, they thought they could manipulate you. There's communication going on. They're like, oh, wait, wait. It's like they're calling for help. Someone's calling for help in a situation. They did not expect you to be able to get through something. Make victory secure. Somebody has victory in this situation. That, that's a yes card for me. Um, and there's some sort of communication, like abandon ship, abandon ship. Somebody didn't know who the fuck they were messing with. I'm not going to lie. I mean, man, someone's in big trouble. Um, someone's calling for help. Someone's scared. They definitely underestimated a divine femme or divine masculine. They did not know who they were messing with. I mean, I just, somebody uh, did not see you getting some sort of victory. It was definitely unexpected. I'm not getting anything else out of that. Um, I'm guessing Uncle Sam wants me to shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, man. That last one was just so good. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> So someone offered um, some someone a shitty offer. This is the Page of Cups. So someone offered someone an offer, but it, there was no substance behind it. So there was some sort of trick or trap. I don't know if this is connected to the last one or not. But I don't like it when my car gel at me, so we're going to take it nice and slow. <laughs> oh, I can't help it. I love playing with my cards. It's just... I don't like it when they yell at me and tell me to shut up. It's it's like, it's a blessing and a curse to see things, to be able to see the story in, in cards and stuff. And then when, you know, you see too much, it's like, no, 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 you know too much. Um, so someone made some sort of an offer to cause someone some sort of conflict. Someone created a lot of conflict and they used an offer to do this. So somebody, I don't know if this is a relationship offer a business offer, but someone made an offer in this situation um, to purposefully cause some sort of conflict. Um, someone had to fight a lot of battles or fight off a lot of um, accusations or people because of some sort of offer. Maybe you accepted an offer from someone and they were paid to set you up for something. It's like someone was trying to set you up in some sort of trap um, to prove that you were something that you were not. This is really an odd one. But I can't say much because I've had a few good ones the last time. So, like I said, I never know what I'm getting into. This was a Queen of Wands in the reverse. This is someone who could have been in their player um, or um, a hoe energy. Someone who is not a leader. Someone was purposefully causing a lot of conflict. So, there could have been someone who was in their hoe energy that was purposefully sent to trap you up like see i told you that they were a hoe see i told you they fell for it it's like it's like somebody sent another person your direction whoever this message is for remember this is a collective read this is not going to apply for everybody but it's always a good read uh, i'll say that i get amazed by my stories too um i couldn't make this shit up if i tried and there will be people saying it's my story and i'm gonna be like how the fuck is this anyone's story but i just read the energy i just read the cards um, I, I can't make it up if I try, trust me, but, um, 
I always see the story in the cards, and that's what always amazed me about tarot cards and, and reading cards, is seeing the story that's unfolding. And there's somebody who was sent purposefully um, that was a host. I don't know if someone was like a paid prostitute or something, like a gigolo. I don't know, but there was someone who was like a professional whore. Um, there's no other way of putting it. I mean, I, I, there's no nice way to put it to make you some sort of offer and it caused all sorts of conflict for somebody it was like someone was purposefully sent to um get you to sleep with them so that they could spread a lot of rumors about you and misinformation to cause all sorts of conflict um and cause you an injury the wounded warrior uh, oh man yeah the someone tried to cause you a lot of harm someone's taking a moment to pause and reflect about something because something's not making sense in this situation um, this is not your typical behavior so it's not something you would do ordinarily um so it's not like you sleep around or anything but there was someone that was sent purposefully to um set you up to make it look like you do and that is, that pisses me off. This is really shady. Um, whoever this reading is for, I read for the Divine Femme, the Divine Masculine. And whoever I'm reading for is not in this energy, but someone sent someone intentionally um, that's a professional to, uh, to do this to you, to get you to sleep with them so that they could say that you were a hoe that, or a player that you slept around. Uh, this could be a female. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It did come up in the Queen of Wands energy. So it could be a feminine that was paid to do this. Something's not going in their favor because something's being laid to rest. Someone's under judgment. So the person that set this whole scenario up could be under judgment because the truth could be coming out regarding the situation. Someone could be snitching on someone. This was never meant to come out. No one was ever supposed to find out. This was, this is like a movie. I, I cannot make this shit up. Um, you're going to have victory in the situation, but there's communication. Someone's calling for help because um, the truth is coming out. They can't hide the truth anymore about what they did. Someone purposefully put another person up to coming towards you to sleep with them to set you up. Somebody tried, somebody got set up in a situation or there was an attempted set up. Oh, man. <clears throat> this is messed up. And I know I say that, but every time I think the stories can't get any crazier, here they come. <clears throat> yeah, this is the moon card in the reverse. Someone was... This is Scorpio energy. Something is being ended. Something's done. Oh, man. Someone did something secretive. Whatever these secrets were that were being kept... It's not going in someone's favor. This shit, this shit's being brought to light. Someone's exposing the secrets. Man. Page of Swords. So someone's telling. Someone lied. I don't know if this is the person that came towards you or the person that paid or just someone that knows about it. But somebody lied. Someone didn't defend you. In fact, it was the opposite. Someone purposefully did this. I'm, I'm getting... I'm, okay. Okay. The person, this this page of swords in reverse is the person that is afraid of the secrets being exposed. This was the person who paid the other person to come towards you. The queen of wands in the reverse. This page of swords in the reverse is the one who lied originally. And then they paid a queen of swords. Um, it could be a masculine, you know, in their feminine energy, um, you know, you know what I say about that, I mean, masculine and their little bitch energy, when they come out in the reverse, just because you come out in your feminine energy, it doesn't automatic, it does not automatically make you a little bitch, but if you're in the reverse, you're a little bitch, because then you're a karmic, but the page of swords card in the reverse is somebody who is trying to keep this secret, they're afraid it's going to be revealed, um, they purposely tried to cause somebody some sort of injury or harm. The Queen of Swords and the reverse. This person is a liar. Dude. 
there's either a masculine and their little bitch energy or there's a female that put another female up to trying to trap a masculine it's like catfishing what the f there could have been a female that put one of their friends up to catfishing a masculine or something what the hell this is weird why the hell would you put someone up to doing this all hell's breaking loose. There is a there's a fight breaking out within this friends group. Um, this female that put this other female up to coming towards a masculine, they are pissed. They're like, you weren't supposed to sleep with him. You were just supposed to tempt him. Oh my god. There's a there's a drama going on here. There's like a cat fight going on. There's a female here that put another female up to catfish a masculine and all hell's breaking loose within their friends group i mean there's like a huge cat fight going on they're like they're ready to tear each other's eyes out because this other female that she sent towards this masculine to tempt him she was not supposed to sleep with him but she did and then she didn't want to stop sleeping with him what <laughs> Let's get a few more cards here. This is an interesting tale. I like my little card soap, soap opera drama. This is better than TV. I'm sorry for whoever this is for. It's not cool, but um, someone purpose, someone sent some sort of communication intentionally. And it was a catfishing thing. It was meant to catch someone up. It was never supposed to be anything serious. Someone's getting a message of concern that they're walking away from a situation. This female doesn't want to play games anymore. I feel like this female actually wants to hook up with this masculine energy. Um, so something is ending. Whatever scheme or scam that was going on is over because there is someone. And once again, you can flip the rules as needed. Um... But whoever was put up to doing this catfishing scheme, they're walking away. They don't want to be a part of it anymore um, because they actually uh, want to move forward, possibly even a, in a relationship with this person. There's some sort of message of concern that's going on regarding the situation and someone's backing out. Shit, yeah, it's, it's getting put to a stop. Someone has a divine connection um, to the spiritual realm. Um, someone could feel like this is their divine counterpart. So somebody's backing out of this. They don't want to play games anymore. They want to be real. Justice has to be balanced out in a situation. Um, they want to be honest with this person. Someone was supposed to cause conflict to somebody, but someone was protected. It didn't happen. Uh, Knight of Wands, someone is being immature, someone is pissed. This immature energy that sent their friend to do this is very pissed. Um, because now they can't make this other person look like a player. Um, they were trying to make them look like they were trying to keep their options open, like they weren't ready to settle down. Um, this could have been used like in a divorce or custody issue or something. Um, but someone did this on purpose to set someone up and they can't do it anymore. It's over. Oh, this immature energy is mad. This Knight of Wands energy, they didn't care who got hurt. Um, and they sure as hell didn't care about sending their friend. I mean, they put their friend up to sleep. But they told him not to sleep with them. This girl was like, oh yeah, I want you to catfish him, but don't sleep with him, you know, like, I just want you to do this, and, you know, hurt him, and hurt his feelings, and then walk away, and that did not happen, something did not go the way this immature energy thought it was going to go, and now this other person, this masculine energy I'm picking up on doesn't want to keep their options open anymore, um, yeah, this backfired big time. This back, this was not a good... Whatever plan they had, it backfired big time. Someone's plan did not work out. Um, because there's a literal fight that's breaking out between at least a couple females. And once again, it could be a couple masculines. Just flip the rules as needed. I just read the um, energies I'm picking up on. 
but there's definitely um, something that backfired on somebody after sending a friend to another person to catfish them. It did not work out the way they thought it was going to. Now someone's juggling finances because they decided to walk away from something because they look at someone as innocent. This person, this female energy I'm picking up on this, sent another female, and, you know, don't don't give me the semantics, just flip the roles, don't make it complicated, I'm just gonna go with the energy I'm reading. So, um, this female energy has made the decision that this person is innocent, and they don't want to do this, they actually fell, they have feelings for this person, <sighs> They could have lost money because of this, um, because the friend could have offered to pay them some sort of money or finances to do this. They could have worked together. I don't know if they, you know, have a business together, but this female is viewing this uh, masculine energy as innocent and the secret's not being kept anymore. Someone's moving. I feel like someone could be moving in together. Oh man, this yeah, they're not gonna be friends anymore after this. I feel like there's a friendship that's not gonna be um they're not gonna be friends anymore after this because it's not a secret anymore. The hermit in the reverse, the secret. Um yeah, it's it's not gonna be a secret. They can't keep their feelings hidden from each other anymore. They're going to be moving in together. Yeah, someone's going to be traveling and moving, um, and I feel like this masculine wants this female to move in with him, and she wants to move in with him, and this could be a divine match. This immature energy didn't know what the hell she was doing. She was actually, she was trying to set this masculine up, and she was actually playing matchmaker, I'm not gonna lie. Um, this didn't work out the way this person thought it was going to, that's for sure. The, this couple is actually going to hook up page of wands there's going to be some sort of information this there's going to be a truth spoken um there's going to be a message of some sort of truth um these people are going to move in together um and there's going to be a celebration and this is going to cause the harm to <laughs> the person that set this up in the first place the person that was trying to hurt the masculine energy I'm picking up on, this female energy is the one that's going to be injured and hurt. Balance has to be restored. This was a setup, and this female's left looking like a fool. Um, she's... <laughs> and these are the days of our lives, man. I don't even know. This is like a Kirsten and Marlena thing from Days of Our Lives, for real. <laughs> This is nuts. It's like a frenemies type of thing. Whatever this was supposed to be, it definitely didn't turn out that way. There's going to be a celebration, possibly a wedding, uh, between this masculine and feminine energy. Um, the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So, um, the female that... Uh, yeah, she lost her money. Um, if she paid her friend to do this or engage in some sort of spell work, she lost her gifts and talents. She could be losing her job over this because someone's taking a moment to pause and reflect about a situation. And they're seeing that there was a female that was behind this from the very beginning. So if there was some sort of like drama at work and these are a couple females that work together or masculines, take it how it resonates. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is in the favor of the one who is in the upright, and um, whatever you touch turns to gold. So even though this initially was, um, I don't want to say that the person who is trying to catfish the masculine is in the upright. Um, I, I, it seems like none of these people are in the upright, I mean, to be honest with you, but the person that was sent to catfish this masculine um, energy is going to tell the truth. And something is going to work out in their favor. The Wheel of Fortune is in their favor. I mean, this is, I feel like this is some sort of divine connection. Um, 
No one expected this to happen. That's why all hell's breaking loose in this situation. No one expected this connection to actually happen. Oh, let's see what is going on here. <laughs> I'm 20 minutes in and I feel like I'm just breaking the ice on this. This is, um, this is an odd one. I was gonna make this one my last one of the night and I was like, oh, nothing can top the other two I did and here we are into another Jerry Springer episode. <sighs> Don't forward my call. I know where you live in the reverse. Man. There's gonna be some sort of altercation between these two females. Um... The female that paid this other female to catfish this masculine, she's going to show up at this at their house. Like, if they move in together, whether they live together or not, she knows where they both live. She's going to show up somewhere and try to start some sort of altercation. You're like asthma. You take my breath away. She. It could shock these two um, when this person shows up. But this this girl has nothing to hide. I mean, she I feel like she told the masculine the truth about the situation. Um, you know, the the wands came out, so there was some sort of truth that was spoken. They're still going to be moving forward. They're going to move in together. Um, these cards were not supposed to be in here. Um, these are from my last reading. Keep us flying war bonds. And for your country's sake today, for your own sake tomorrow, this group, yeah, this group of girls, you see this group of girls, there, there's a fight breaking out between all of them, keep us flying, yeah, the friendships, um, this friendship is over, um, there's too much conflict, they can't come back from this, um, there's going to be a cat fight, there's going to be two girls, someone's going to be going to jail, Man, <laughs> giving up is for the weak people. Don't even try it, man. This girl's gonna get her ass beat. When she shows up to this masculine's house, this other female is gonna beat her ever-loving ass. An apple a day keeps anyone away if you throw it hard enough. And I don't care, but somebody does. This masculine doesn't care about this other female. This is... <laughs> this is a situation where this masculine was with that other girl, the original girl who had her friend catfish this guy. Okay, so this was someone, they were friends, but the initial relationship between the two um, didn't work out. So then this girl sent her friend in to catfish this dude to pretend, like, to act like he was something he wasn't. I don't know what she had to gain from this. Um... But she was trying to prove something, like he was a player or he was a cheater or something. And it ended up working against her. She's going to show up wherever these people are. Um, this masculine and feminine energy who want to move in together and be a couple together. And she's going to get her ass beat. Oh, man. Her friend is going to, like... I'm seeing, a like, a brick getting thrown at something. Man... This is bad. I mean, that's not an apple. I'm seeing, like, a brick. Someone's going to pick up, like, a cinder block, something heavy, like a rock, um, and throw it at this girl. I hope it misses. I mean, I don't want anyone to get hurt, but, man, this, there's, someone's going to pick up something like a cinder block or something heavy, like a piece of concrete or something. It's going to be heavy, and it's going to hurt if it hits this other girl. I know I know she's asking for trouble, but call the cops or something. If you put her in jail, you're going to get your ass in trouble. I hope you all understand that. We have a connection in the reverse. This other connection is over. The original connection is done. I mean, I don't know what the hell this girl was trying to prove. Why the fuck would you send your friend after someone to catfish them and then say, don't sleep with them? What the fuck? I mean, do you remember being with this masculine? Because this masculine knows how to use his wand. I'm not... Uh, I'm just reading the energy. He knows what he's doing in the bedroom. Why the fuck would you send your female friend to go hook up with a masculine... It was to be spiteful. 
I mean, but it backfired. I mean, this is in the reverse, but it backfired. This female did this out of spite, and it backfired big time. Because now these two are hooked up, and now she wants to get into a huge fight. Stop wasting my time in the reverse. This masculine is about to get a restraining order on this crazy bitch's ass. This is nuts. He's not wasting any time with her. She's wasting her time, and now she's lost her friend, too. So, and... I feel like the other girls, I mean, if they're part of a clique or something, these other people don't want anything to do with her either. They don't even know why she did this. I don't even understand why she did this. Why the fuck would you do this? If someone's telling the truth. They're telling the truth. So someone's going to tell the truth of the situation. Um, a bald spot could be significant. Someone, this masculine could be, um, you know, have a bald spot or could shave his head or something. That could be significant. Um... This female feels like they're being ignored or forgotten. Yeah, this relationship ended. I don't... I'm still not seeing the point of this. I don't know. You already know too much in the reverse. Oh, yeah, this... <laughs> Dude. How the fuck are you going to send another female that you sit there... This was supposed to be your best friend, okay? These are two females. This female talked about the good and the bad relationship so yeah she knows too much she knows what this masculine likes what he doesn't like you don't dude dude, dude. i these two overshared way too much intimate details with each other and yes um, this girl's friend knew way too much because this girl told her her business um, before they even split up. So, yeah, she knows what he likes, what he doesn't like. My wife and I are very happy. These two are going to get married, man. Uh, that's what you get. When you send someone and you're up to shady shit and you want to do karmic shit, you want to put someone up to going and catfishing someone and then they end up getting married? What the fuck? You know what? Send them a wedding gift and be happy for them. There's nothing else you can do. This shit's over, man. I, don't, I still don't see the point. I don't know what this female is trying to prove. By doing this, I really, really don't. But she did it. And she... <laughs> this, this female, this karmic female is as dull as dishwater. And... I'm not talking about the male female who's going to end up together. I'm talking about the dumb idiot who put her friend up to doing this. How the fuck do you think it was going to turn out? Don't sleep with them. You sit there and told her how big his dick was, how good he was in bed. You think she's not going to sleep with them? What the hell you think? Oh my God. Oh my God. Just when I think the last one was the most interesting one. Sometimes I feel like I get a little too much information based on people's personal lives but at least this is a collective read at least i don't know who these people are because i'm i'm not gonna lie i think i'm blushing a little bit because i'm <laughs> they talked about like the sex the dick and everything ijk and l could be significant i know i'm getting close to running out of time i'm hitting like 29 minutes but Man, this chick who did this wanted this masculine to be left licking his wounds. He ain't getting... <laughs> he's getting something licked, all right, but he's not licking his wounds. He's getting something else licked. Um, yeah, this was the blind leading the blind. I don't know what the fuck she thought she was doing. This was the stupidest thing you could ever do. She got... This female got herself caught up in a mousetrap. Better mousetrap in the upright and playing with fire... What the hell did you think was gonna happen? I mean, I, there's no other way to put it. I mean, I just, I don't know what people are thinking sometimes. I really don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't. Oh, jeez. Karma's a bitch, though. That's on the top, and I'm already at 30 minutes. Um, yeah, this person, someone's as white as a sheet. They didn't expect this outcome. Someone thought they were being as slippery as an eel, but the truth came out, and they still ended up happily ever after. This is a divine union. Like I said, you just played matchmaker. That has this female pissed off. Am I pissing you off? Oh yeah, I'm sure you are. 
lessons learned in the reverse. Yeah, this karmic, this, yeah, she's going to learn her lesson. She's pissed off. I don't know how she, this is not high school. This was a wild goose chase. Um, this other girl took the tiger by its tail. This karmic energy only brought themselves trials and tribulations. They were shady as fuck. Their plans backfired. Um, this other girl's sincere. This relationship is sincere. It's gonna last. This is a divine union, so congratulations on you two. Um, I don't know if I have enough time. I'm gonna try to grab a couple letters real quick. I had L come out, person, place, or thing, and D, so LD could be significant. Y, I'm getting Lydia. I don't know if Lydia or Lydia could be significant. I, yep, Liddy, Lydia, something like that. Z. And I'll try to get a couple more before I hit 32 minutes. Um, and then R and U. Are you busy next Saturday night? We're going to the chapel. We're about to get married. Yeah, this backfired hugely. L-U-R-D-Y-I-N-Z. I hope this helps, folks. Have a good night.